Well, hi folks, and welcome to Art Tips with John, the show that helps you build not only your artistic talent, but also your art business as well. Welcome to today's show. Well, hi folks, and welcome to today's show. It's great to have you here with us wherever and whenever you are watching this in the world. In today's show, I wanna cover a topic with you that I get asked countless amount of times in any given week, and it's how do you build and paint an eye? Now that might sound like a really strange question, but for a lot of people, it is actually a source of struggle. Now eyes are usually built up of three or four different elements, and I wanna cover those in depth and detail with you. So now. beside me here, what we've got is a cat pet portrait painting. Now, as I said, you know, eyes are pretty much built up of the same thing. You've got the white of the eye, you've got the iris, and you've got the pupil. But the fourth element is something that a lot of people forget, especially when they're portrait painting and it is the tiny white dot of reflection. Well, I'm gonna show you how to put all of those things in in this episode, so come on in. Right, folks, well, what we've got done here already is the color of the eye. Now, this eye in particular was more of a sort of a yellow ochre brown color, and we've basically just taken a little liner brush and we've worked around that area. Now, in order to get this correct, it's really, really important to Understand your eye shapes. And what I would recommend in learning eye shapes is have a look on Google, okay? Type in, uh, I suppose, eye shapes, I suppose, um, or painting eye shapes. Google will come up with a ton of different images that you can actually look through and learn and study all the different eye shapes. You've got rugby ball eyes, you've got sometimes more of a square eye, you've all sorts of different shapes as well. And it's important to know which one you're painting for your specific portrait. Okay, so we've got the color of the eye all painted in. Now what we're gonna come in with, with our little liner brush, is a little bit of black paint. Now, in the photo, the eyes were basically no more than slits. So we're just gonna come in a little bit of black paint. Small little shape just in there. And small shape over here. Okay, and this is painting in the black of the eye. So this is stage number two. Do it really carefully, there we go. That's one of the, the funny things. I prefer cats that have the big round eyes as opposed to these little slits. It's, uh, it's a little bit more uncomfortable. But, so there you go. So this station number this two. this cat doesn't have any white around the surface of the eye, so I'm actually gonna put a little bit in just for portrait painting uh, sometimes it helps break things up a little bit more and it helps it be a little bit more realistic. I often find just having a little bit of white just around the corners. Okay, then we're gonna come in with a little bit more white paint and it's a tiny little white dot that we're just gonna place at the corners of the eyes. So we're just gonna come in a little bit of white paint. Here we go. Just touch it in there and just something like that. And that's how eyes are really built. And that takes you from An artist being that can do eyes okay to an artist that actually can make eyes look realistic. Okay, so that's gonna to be today's show, folks. I hope this has helped. I hope you found it very beneficial and very, very informative. Um, if you would like to see the end of this painting, we're actually gonna stick this on for you now, but if not, have a lovely week. Take care, God bless. As always, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to check us out at John Morris out from the forward slash art tips with John, um, where you can get all the latest news tips and all sorts of other stuff that you don't necessarily get on YouTube. Um, but we're going to put this together and we're going to continue painting in speed form so the video won't be too long. And uh, as I say, until next week, I have been your host, John Morris. Any questions you've got for me, as always, fire them to my, I'll try that again, fire them my way <laughs> on, uh, on the box below. And, uh, and I'll catch you next week. Take care.